So to do my lashes, I will use our 3D Fibre Lash Mascara. Now this is the new formula. It's been reformulated um, and the brushes have been redeveloped. So it's not going to get clumpy. Um, the fibres will adhere to your lashes better than the old formula. Um, it's been completely reinvented because there were quite a lot of people that had um, some issues with it. You know, the company listened and we've change the product sorry got cramp in my leg anyway so here's the 3d fiber lash mascara now it's personal preference whether you curl your eyelashes beforehand or not if i'm going on a night out i would probably curl them um and a super tip is to heat the eyelash curlers not too hot because it will burn your eyelids but on a low heat just for a few seconds just heat up your eyelash curlers and then when you apply um, them to your eyelashes it's going to set those lashes into a curl I'm not going to curl them today I'm potty training my little boy and he's just peed on the floor um, so I'm going to pause the video and come back to it once I've sorted that okay I'm back real life dramas but that's life so mascara like I said I'm not going to do my um, eyelash curlers because I want um, more of a daytime look um, but another tip that I have is this is an old mascara wand just a high street store mascara and what I'll do before I start applying is I shall just give my eyelashes a quick comb through Especially in the morning, if you've got all that sleep in your eyes. Okay. So the first thing that goes on is the 3D Fibre Lash Plus Gel. And like I say, it's a newly designed brush. It's also got a little lid. If you if you hear, can you hear the pop? That's because it's got a little funnel inside. So when you've finish doing your um, lashes and you pop it back in it's going to catch up any fibers that are on your brush and not allow them to go into your gel so here we go start applying the first coat I'm one of the most messiest mascara applicators. <laughs> um, it goes all over my eyelid. But that's not a drama because we can always clean up after. Now some people will use this as a base coat. There isn't any really any particular reason um, you need to do that. Some people prefer to do it. I'm going to go straight into applying those first um, coat of fibres. I'll just gently roll the fibre brush on my hand just to minimise the likelihood of a clump going on my um, eyelash and then it's all about lightly touching your eyelashes. Now I never go, or I try not to go, down to the waterline of my eye. Because that's just asking for trouble. For me anyway, I'll end up with fibres in my eyeball. Now we need to let leave that for a few seconds to let those fibres stick to the eye. We haven't finished with it. So while we're letting them adhere to the eye, we're going to do the first coat of the gel on the second eye. That sunshine is in my face. Thank you. 
So then we can go on to placing the fibres. A little bit difficult when the window's right shining in my face. And again, let them adhere to your lashes. Now, before I go in and seal this eye, I will either use a lash comb or the mascara wand that I showed you earlier. And I'll just comb through those fibres. Grabbing any loose ones that haven't adhered to the lash. And that's going to minimise the amount of fibres that are going to go onto the gel brush now as you seal those fibres in. If you don't seal the fibres in, those fibres will drop off your eyelash throughout the day and end up on your face. So it's always important to remember to get them sealed in. Now if you wanted, you could go for a second application. So I'm going to do that just so you can see. For a normal daytime I wouldn't. For a night out, I'd apply and apply and apply and apply. Quite a lot of fibres in the tube. Sorry, the sunshine in my face. Again, it's not finished. You just let those um, lashes adhere. And while that's doing that, you can go and apply your sealing coat to your other eye. I'm not doing too bad on this application. Uh, it's not too much all over my eyes. On my eyelids, on my face. that's one coat again we'll go on and we'll do a second coat while that's um, still wet it can take a little bit of practice to get them just how you want to get them this time I'm going to go in and comb this layer with a lash comb. I actually think the mascara brush was uh, doing a better job. I wonder if you like me. I have um I prefer this side to this side. This side's um a bit lazy in the corner it droops. Um It's a bit like eyebrows really. No two eyes are the same shape. So as you can see, fibres are going on my face as I'm combing it through. It's not a drama, it's not the end of the world. We're gonna brush them off afterwards quite easily and then we need to seal A last seal. Give these a brush before I seal these. If you can get hold of a metal lash comb. I think that's going to be my next investment, a metal lash comb. We actually sell them. I think it's just a case of brushing your lashes through. 
um, until you're happy with them. Now, I haven't got my powder brush to hand. Let's see if this will... See, the fibres, they just brush off your face easily. And then you can just apply the gel. You can apply the fibres if you want to your lower lashes. I personally don't. There's nothing to say you can. Now this formula actually has a uplift simmer in it. So what it's actually doing to your eyelashes as you're wearing it is it's, it's nourishing your lashes your natural lashes and helping them grow we've had lots of people that um, have suffered things such as alopecia and their lashes are stress um, and unfortunately they pull the lashes out due to stress and have struggled to grow them back and we've had people that have used the 3d fiber lash mascara and have been amazed at how quick the natural lashes actually grow. It's just as simple as that. And you play around until you get the desired look. Um, you're going for, and that's that, that's our 3D fiber lash mascara. <laughs>